you know when they pick person so hmm. That's what I'm hey, mom, ¿qué tal? Es cante, es my youtube channel my name is sandra and i hope you guys are doing good i hope you guys are doing great so today we are going to be talking about a very 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 important topic which is being black in germany or better still being african and black in germany so let's get right into this video the first thing i'm going to be talking about is the stairs i mean germans can stay these people will look at you until you become uncomfortable like they will just keep their eyes fixed on you and they don't it, it doesn't matter if you notice them looking at you they don't take off their eyes like there was this day i got into the train i was actually going to school and then there was an elderly man and the wife that were sitting like at the door of the train so when i got in this man started looking at me he was looking at me yeah i went sat down this man kept staring at me he stared at me until i got really uncomfortable i was like okay let me just stare back so um the man can feel uncomfortable and stop looking at me jesus i turned and looked at that man in his eyes he didn't stop oh he didn't smile he kept on looking at me I felt so uncomfortable. I felt like there was something on my face or maybe there was something I was doing that wasn't right because I don't understand. Some people will even be in their cars, eh? They will turn, look at you until you feel uncomfortable, until you notice that they are looking at you. It is really, really, really sometimes really embarrassed. Sometimes I feel very, so, I feel really embarrassed. Seriously. Like, you'll be walking on the road, maybe it's, there is somebody coming this way and you are going like this the person will be looking at you you will pass the person will stop turn around and continue looking at you till you disappear i don't know why they do that i don't know if it's because i'm black or because we are black because most africans most dark-skinned people experience that in germany so the second thing i'm going to be talking about is ignorant comments hmm like sometimes germans or many white people say certain things or they make certain comments thinking that it's nice but it's i don't know it just bothers me somehow like there was this day somebody walked up to me i was actually at work so she walked up to me i was like hey where did you get your lip fillers are your lips natural were you born like that or please can you give me the address of where you got your lip fillers without even asking me like i was so i was so confused i didn't even know i was like no my lips are natural i was born this way i have no doctor to oh i, I didn't go anywhere to get my lips done she was like seriously don't lie to me i was like mm. i was like okay i don't know I don't know there's this other thing hair i mean hair like sometimes i wear my afro like my hair out and just go to work or go to school or go around go to the mall to get something i mean these people don't pity me somebody walk up to you and be like can i please touch your hair can i please touch your hair i'm like seriously touch my hair uh <laughs> It's really, really embarrassing that somebody will just come and be like, I love your hair, let me touch your hair. And there was this day, somebody asked me, really called for me, asked me to remove my wig and give her to try to see how she looks inside. Like, she looks with my wig on. Like, I felt really, really embarrassed and confused. This is a serious thing, you know? Now, serious matter. I mean, a serious matter. Eh? Yeah? There was this other day, I was just walking in the mall and then this guy walks up to me and he's like, Hey miss, um, I have a new product and I would lo love to try it on your hair. Can I straighten your hair? Because it looks really um, hard or stuff like that. I was like, seriously, I love my hair the way it is. I don't want to. That means he kept persuading me and started even forcing me that he wants to straighten my hair. I felt really embarrassed, seriously. And I just walked, I just walked, I don't know. And then there's this other thing. 
they come towards me they don't ask me where i'm from some group maybe a group some group of a group of people will walk up to me and like um are you american are you from america and stuff like that i'm like no i'm from cameroon and they'll be like hmm okay bye bye and then another group will come are you from africa how is the country africa like what is the african language i'm like seriously africa is not a country it is a continent eh with countries it's like it's like europe now with different countries that's how africa is africa is a a, a continent with many country with language diversity and some people are even surprised i can speak english and french they think there's an african language let me put it that way but sometimes i just have to educate them like africa has more than 1000 language it's diverse the language in africa is diverse like seriously there is this other other or that thing in germany as a black girl or as a black boy it is difficult to get our hair product like to get um products or our natural hair and stuff like that yes there are afro shops here like where you can go and actually buy certain things like but it's how can i put it it's limited let me put it that way because you go and you will not find products that you really love to use for your for your hair for your for yourself you understand so that's it it's limited so young girls most of us we just go to our computers chak 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 look for products online and order because sometimes if you want to go and walk from shop to shop you will walk your life away like swoop and also makeup is another problem another serious problem we have here in germany makeup can you imagine that me as a black girl it's not easy to get my foundation or concealer or uh, um, translucent powder it's difficult like sometimes you watch youtube videos and you find new products and you're interested you're happy you're like oh this product is so beautiful and stuff like that my brother let me break the news for you you will hardly i mean hardly find a product that is going to suit you there is this other thing don't you if you are in germany and you are black don't you try and go to a shop and somebody tells you let me help you find the shade of your makeup let me help you don't accept just walk around or better still get home order online because eh, they will bring you one shade that is maybe 10 shades lighter than you or 50 shades darker than you because the shade is dark they are going to think oh maybe it's going to go and you look ashy you look crazy you look like a mad man like a mad person person we don't craze so no triumph just go find your computer put on your vlan or your wifi type what product you want and order because eh you know easy so there's this other thing most people here in germany not all some of them are very very nice people some of them like they are very nice like they talk to you they're happy to be around you and stuff like that but there are some my brother my sister there are some people who think africans are dumb are stupid and they don't know what they are doing and i've experienced this shit like so many times there was this day i was in school then i was still um doing my my i was still doing classes for the language to write an exam and i got to class and the teacher like put us in groups right so i was asked the question uh, where we're, we're giving like a task or something like that and i was like the only black girl in my group let me put it that way because there were also some other black students at the time because it was language and this person this 
in this group i was like trying to give my ideas but everybody was just shutting me up like they were just like uh -huh, mm -hmm. like i didn't have a right to talk or something like that ah, me as a me like that i found my place she done i found my place and sat down i was doing my own thing so when it was time to pass the the the, the tax that we were giving we passed now the teacher read and the teacher was like hmm so when the teacher started talking, it proved that most of the points that I was actually giving were correct. But they weren't taking me seriously. I, I was, ah, I didn't have anything to say. I looked for my place and sit down. Like sometimes this is very, 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 it's very, very common for you to find such here in Germany. And there's this other thing. Yeah, there are many black people in Germany, but if you are black and you're in Germany, you should put it at the back of your mind that you will be the only black person in certain environments. Like, for example, I'm the only black girl in my class. In my class, I'm the only black girl. That means when I enter the class, I'm the only one with this color. Rest are white. And so it's normal. Like, just put it in your mind. Sometimes you enter the train, you're the only dark person. Sometimes you will be at a certain place at a certain time being the old day black person hmm. there's another thing racism i personally have experienced racism here in germany i think once yeah that was like i was just i was walking and then this man was coming towards me he looked at me he picked on me like you know when they pick the scene, so and then he was like, Go back to the country where you came from, we don't need you here. I, was like, <laughs> I didn't even know what to tell the man. I just I just turned and continued my road. I was like, hey? Eh? Now so my brother. But since that day I've really not experienced anything or any racism at all after that, but some of, as I said, some of the Germans are really nice. And then there is this other thing. Most Germans don't expect black people to speak out for themselves. Like when they do something wrong to you, they expect you to stay quiet and just move. Like maybe somebody does something and like, hey, I don't like that. And don't do it again next time. I didn't find it funny or stuff. They don't expect you to do that. Like, <laughs> but me... I speak for myself you do me anything i talk i tell you there and there put you in your position where can go and find my road to where i'm going to because if you don't do that they are going to take you for biscuit and paper and they are going to treat you anyhow like they're just going to use you anyhow so that's it for this video for today i'm very happy for those who have watched please guys please subscribe Hit the notification bell to get notifications anytime I post a new video. I promise to be consistent. If you like my content, please comment below and also tell me what you liked. And in my next video, I'll be doing a giveaway. So please stay tuned. So please, please, please subscribe because next video, I'll be doing the giveaway. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you once more. And see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.